Alrighty guys, I'm your host Little Mal. We got Matt from Now Studios here. We're gonna be doing a little night episode and uh, we're gonna be testing my riot shield that I made against the Rothka riot shield. But we're gonna see what it can do. And if you've seen the previous video with the buckler, we got a sword, a BB gun that shoots 1200 FPS, and a crossbow. And we're gonna test it all on both and just kind of see what we can get. So uh, stay tuned guys. Lil Mao presents Advanced Weapon Tactics, the show that tests the lethality and survival skills of weapons with improvised tactics and truthful reviews. Do not try this at home. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright, so we're going to try the game of Silent Cat against my riot shield. Let's see what this bad boy can do. Alright, Matt, can we count down? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Alright, so with the game of Silent Cat, we got a nice indent on the plastic. But again, that didn't even go through the wood. There's nothing on the other side. It didn't even make it through. It didn't even penetrate, but it, but it put a pretty nice dent in that. So, again, that metal is pretty powerful. That's probably why it's so hard to drill into it. What would you have to say about that, Matt? Oh yeah, I'm not surprised at all that it didn't go through there. I mean, that that was pretty tough to drill through, and the wood is actually pretty tough too, so I wasn't surprised that it didn't go through. All right, up next is the Rothko riot shit. We're gonna see what that can do. All right, so we got, again, the same tips, BB tips, with the pellet, Game of Silent Cat against the Rothko riot shit. Can we count down? Three. Two, one. Three, two, one. Hey guys. So with the Rothko Riot Shield, I was actually, holy fuck, surprised. Right here, zoom in on this little. So that's where the pellet went in and 1250 FPS pellet gun. This was able to stop. Wow, I'm just, I'm just pretty damn impressed with the Rothkar Riot Show and how it did. What do you think, Matt? Oh yeah, I'm super impressed by that. And when we shot it, you saw it flail. I mean, I I'm pretty impressed that it stopped it. So we're gonna take our Riot Shield again, and we're gonna try against the Cobra Crossbow and see what it can do. Cobra Crossbow, 80 pounds against our Riot Shield. I'm expecting it to go through the metal just because how BB did, the pellet, from the Silent Cat 1200 FPS, did a really good size dent into the metal. So I'm, I'm expecting with a point to at least be able to pierce the metal. So uh, give me a countdown. Three, two, one. All right, Matt. So tell us what happened. All right, so zoom right in on that. As you see, it went right through it. Although it did bounce back out, it did go all the way through that front sheet metal. I don't know if you can see it, but it did go all the way through that front sheet metal. The impact size was about the same as the pellet, but it definitely did go through there, although it did bounce back out. I am a little bit surprised with that. This took us a long time to make, and it is very, very durable, very, very heavy. So I am surprised that it did pierce that, that metal part. There. But it didn't go through the wood, it, it so the guy behind it would 100% be, be safe. Yep. So we're gonna see what the Rothko Riot Shield can do. All right, so we got the Cobra Crossbow against the Rothko Riot Shield. I'm gonna make sure to turn off the safety this time. Put the bullet, the, the arrow in, and uh, this one I do think it will go through, but that's what I thought with the pellet. And, cause that's a very, very, very powerful gun and uh, we're gonna see what this can do since this has a little bit better of a point so uh can we count down in the mandarin Matt? E -R -so all right so i i'm very impressed i thought the bolt was actually going to go right through this one although i thought it would stop the gamba the pellet from the gamble, but I am very surprised that it actually stopped the bolt. So, as you see right here, zoom right in on that. It was pretty much similar, the exact same as the pellet impact. 
And as you see, it completely just deflected it. Yeah, so if you were behind the Rothko if you, riot yeah, shield. If you were behind it, you might have felt a little bit of force, but you would be okay. That's pretty impressive because this plastic is very, very thin, it, but it bends, so yeah. it absorbs the blow, and it's it's just an all-around pretty good riot shield. We're not telling you to hide behind this or that, but if, if you, you had be, to. Yeah, if you had to and you were behind it, you definitely that's wouldn't That's R, hurt. you'd probably be yeah. safe. You so, might be knocked on your butt, but you'd be safe. So we're going to go to melee weapons, and we're going to see what both of the riot shields can do. Alrighty, so we got Matt with the baton, and we're going to see what he can do against my riot shield. So, um, don't go for up here because th these parts are going to be weak, but go for down here and uh, see what you can do. Hit as hard as you can, I don't care. Take out the sword and see what you can do. Well, holy fuck. I mean, this is a $20 piece of shit Japanese blade, but. Surprised I didn't get hit in the face with that. Holy shit. <laughs> this is why we say do not try this at home. Leave this to the professionals. So, we're gonna do the Shanghai Spy Sword. Give that. I'm gonna try that. So, I don't wanna hurt Matt anymore yeah, today. Man. So, I'm gonna try the Shanghai Spy Sword. But, uh, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, it. It didn't even go through this. I mean, it bent it Is this back. from the BB or is that from no, yours? No, no, This right here is from the baton. And yeah. I was hitting that, I was hitting that pretty hard. And it didn't, it didn't go through it. It just bent it back a little bit. So this thing is really, really durable. All right, let's see what I can do with the Shanghai Spy Sword. E, R, soon. Alright, I think that's pretty good before I screw up this blade because it is very nice. But actually, it's still very, very sharp. This is how powerful steel's getting. You know, that's a. Those are some pretty powerful strikes. Matt, yeah, why don't you zoom in and show us what we got on here? So, you know, really. Yeah, it, it held up against it really, really well. Or is, or is that? Oh, it didn't. It didn't go through it. It just cut the surface a tad. Yeah, just put a little, pretty deep scratch. But I mean, really, it didn't go through the metal whatsoever. Yeah. The only thing that actually did was was that that uh, bolt from right, the crossbow. Right. But it didn't even go through the wood. So I mean, you're talking about some heavy duty shielding right behind this riot shield. So. Pretty impressed by that as well. So we got Matt behind the Rothko riot shield, and uh, since it was pretty uh, able to stop projectiles, we're gonna see what it can do against a metal baton. That's what holds this Japanese blade, but uh, we're gonna see what it can do against the Rothko riot shield. I'm pretty confident Matthew will be all right just because of what we've seen. So Matt, ready? Ready? So again, I was behind it, Matt was behind it. I'm, I'm not telling you to go behind a Rothko riot shield, but if you were, like seen in the video, um, again, we're not liable for anything, any injury or anything that can happen. We're just showing you for educational purposes and uh, for entertainment, you know? But again, against the metal bat, the Rothko riot shield held up pretty well. You just want to make sure your hand is kind of behind this uh, foam guard because it really, really, that's where you're going to be protected. My elbow was actually a little bit lower and it kind of hurt when Matt did one of the strikes. But other than that, I mean, I was totally 100% affected. I'm not hurt. Matt's not hurt. 
Uh, Matt, what would you have to say about the Rothschild Riot Shield against melee weapons? Well, I mean, yeah, definitely when you get hit, you're going to feel the force, but you're definitely not going to have an injury. You're not going to ha have a blunt injury or anything like that. But you're definitely going to feel the hit. That's about the only thing that you're going to feel with the Rothschild. Yeah, you feel the force, but again, I was hitting yeah, pretty, pretty damn hard. hard. Yeah. So is Matt. We're not the biggest people, but, you know, we're not the strongest either, but... From a average, I'd say pretty about an average hit. Yeah, it does deflect. So uh, we're gonna test one thing. We're gonna test the shield bash of the Rothko right? Shield. So we're gonna pretend, hypothetically, that, that I'm a zombie. Okay. And uh, Matt, you just kind of gotta bash me as I come towards you. All right. E R S. <laughs> oh. So as you can see, I was up pretty damn well. Let me try now. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. Some. I think I got a camera I barreled into it. So full force tackle. I mean, he fucking tackled me, but I'm alive and well. What would you have to say if you were behind this and you were a zombie? Yeah, if, if you're, <laughs> that was good. Um, yeah, it definitely, I mean, for the bash, you're definitely going to keep that person off you who's trying to get onto you. You're definitely going to keep them off with a, a bash from them. So let's do one more, Matt. Don't, don't fucking knock me over. <laughs> Alright. Yeah! Ye! Some! And even from the baton, there's no, no damage whatsoever to the shield. Matt, what are your final thoughts and opinions on the Rothko? How much did you pay for this? 80. All right, I'm actually really, really surprised with the performance of the Rothko. I thought the bolt was going to go right through it, but I'm actually surprised that, you know, it did deflect it. It did deflect the Gambo, which is 1250 PS. It did deflect, you know, a blunt hit from a baton. And it definitely can push someone away from you who is trying to possibly tackle you or get on top of you or something like that. You know, it, it, that's so weird, but yeah, definitely it is, it is very, very, very durable. And since it is a little bit flimsy, it allows it to, you know, kind of bounce it's things It's not off. flimsy, but it's, it's flexible. Yeah. So when you, it just bends and absorbs the blow. So yeah. that, that thing is really fucking awesome. 80 bucks. I thought but for sure both were going to go right through it, but I was both surprised. I mean, yeah. you could hurl a rock probably. We're not going to try it. But I would safely assume that if you threw a rock, it could go. Yeah, it de it you could definitely, definitely would deflect, deflect a block yeah. or a rock. You know, we're gonna try. You know, when we get some better projectiles and different things like that, we're gonna try different stuff to see what really. You know, we're gonna stress this some more. But that was pretty stressful from our first test. I mean, 1250 Gamo Silent Cat. You can kill a squirrel, a cat, a probably frog. even a dog yeah maybe we're not saying you should but it has that power too and behind this you're pretty safely um, guarded again do not use any of these weapon these shields to for defensive purposes uh, we're just doing it for educational because we're not liable if you get hurt but we're just saying that it's a pretty damn good shield for 80 bucks for 80 bucks it is you can't go wrong and you, you get it in the mail and you'll think oh it's, i've seen the, the uh reviews on amazon where i bought it and they're like oh it's kind of flimsy yeah 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 it can't deflect an airsoft gun well we just shot a bb gun mm -hmm. uh, uh, like the top the most powerful one you can get at walmart um uh, obviously there's way more powerful ones but anyways just for 80 bucks even with the bad reviews, I'm going to give this a hella good review because it was able to block both of those. We're going to see what my riot shield can do. I have no doubt that's going to defend. We're not going to charge at it because you're not really going to hold it per se. But uh, it's kind of like prop it down and then you can kind of uh, hide behind yeah. it. That's what yeah, the deployable cover. Yeah, that, 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 that's what I need it for, deployable cover. Uh, whereas this is mobile and I'm just blown away by this. So we're going to try this.
Alrighty guys, so I hope you liked the video. Um, both of the rise shields, I'm very, more, very impressed. Yeah, I, I'm very impressed as well. Um, definitely, it's going to take a lot more force to go through this than it is this. But at least that's mobile, you can run with it. This is like 50 pounds, I would say at least. We'll give you an accurate measurement in the, when, you know, when the video actually comes out. But, I mean, you're really not going to run around with it too much. It's kind of like your prop shield, put it down, and then it gives you a little cover so you can hide behind it. You don't have to hold it, and you can have like this, and go plank off targets or whatever. So you can hide behind it. It's definitely very good to hide behind. But, again, it's not mobile. Um, but what would you have to say about either of the riot shields and your experience today on Advanced Weapon Tactics, man? Yeah, I was definitely surprised that, you know, the sheet metal actually held up so, so well. And, you know, it was really, really hard to drill through. And, you know, it just completely stopped everything. And the bolt only pierced the metal. It didn't even go into the wood. So the metal was able to stop that bolt, which I am very, very surprised about. As well as, you know, this stopped the bolt as well. So... Yeah, very impressive. I mean, both of them. Rothko right shield. Can't stress it enough. If you like, if you like airsoft or anything, we're not telling you to use it for airsoft. But if you do, I if mean, you, yeah, it definitely could be used for airsoft. Yeah, it could, but uh, obviously there might be some airsoft guns that can go through it or whatever. So you just want to be careful. We're not liable for it. Maybe Rothko is. I don't know. But I mean, both both shields went up pretty good and I would say definitely anything lower caliber or uh, power FPS wise is not going through that shield uh, so it's pretty powerful and uh, pretty good on defense we might take these out again and test test them even harder but we're gonna have to get more powerful stuff because we tested I mean everything that we had and mm -hmm. without a doubt they superbly stood up against it so, uh, any last thoughts? No, I, once again, I'm very, very surprised how these stood up and how durable they were against our weapons. What would you rather have, the Rothko or the one that I made? Um, in a survival or, let's say, a zombie apocalypse situation. What would you rather have? Um, I would rather have the Rothko, and that's just simply because of movement speed and mobility. You've got to be, especially in something like a zombie apocalypse, you've got to have speed and you've got to have something that you can kind of just push things away and then run away quick, quickly without having too much weight on you. Yeah, I, I might almost rather have this Rothko shield. I mean, this would be better for like a shootout, but yeah, I'd, I'd, de I'd definitely have this rather because, you know, it is a lot more mobile. I'd almost rather have that than any kind of medieval type of shield. I mean, that's why you see SWAT using rise shields. I'm sure there's a hell of a lot stronger than that, but that's why they use it. Versus, you don't see a SWAT team coming out with a kite shield, you know, or a buckler. That's why they use that. And I would, I, that's what I would probably use for a defensive. It's, it's really light. It's, it's maybe a pound, if that. So it's very, very strong. This, it's, it's too heavy, but I meant to build it as a tank. I do want to build another model of a riot shield, something that's going to compare, be around, you know, three to five pounds. So we use these can be mobile. I mean, with the plastic, you're not going, um, it's too light to even compare anything like wood or metal that you're going to find in a store. And they do have plastic at your Home Depot or your Lowe's, but I was able to shoot through it with like an airsoft gun, like an airsoft gun crack it. So that's why I was, that's why I was so fucking surprised that that stopped this, you know what I mean? So, I'd give both of these, you know, five out of five, definitely. Definitely, yeah. I was really surprised how they stood up. All right, Matt, take the video away. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you wanna see more, as always, leave a like, leave a comment, leave some feedback, share this with your friends, and check out my channel, Mr. Nod Studios. And it's mostly a gaming channel, Adam features in some of my videos, so be sure to check that out, and as always, Leave a like and a comment and a subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. See you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.